Gentlemen, I don't know if you're aware of this, but Donald Trump. <laughs> yeah, yeah, still. He's running for president on the platform of opening his mouth and saying things. <laughs> and one thing that frequently emerges from the Trump hole is... <laughs> is the naughty language, the vulgarity, the devil's saltine. But here's the thing, as we approach primary day in my home state of South Kakalaki, <laughs> Trump has said he is swearing off the swearing because value voters do not like the salty talk. If you do the salty talk, they believe you'll be darned to heck. <laughs> where you'll burn in a lake of boiling chute and have a flaming hot poker shoved up your... <laughs> that hurts like a mother fudger. But I gotta say, I'm not sure the man can stop. You know, why would he stop now? It seems natural for him. And I would love to have Trump on the show to hear him explain it from the man himself. But again, he's down in South Carolina campaigning. But here's the thing, he does phone in to a lot of the shows where they just put up a picture of him while he talks on the phone. So I hereby, I hereby challenge him to call into my show. Bring out the Trump phone, everybody. Thank you. Here it is. Behold, the Trump phone. <laughs> Donald, call me on this phone. It is a line dedicated just to you. And to show that I'm serious, I am willing to split the charges. <laughs> and now, meanwhile, on the Democratic side, Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders. Trump, Trump. Trump, Trump. Trump, Trump. Trump, Trump. Trump, Trump. Hello, who is this? This is Donald Trump. Hello, Stephen. Donald Trump. <laughs> Donald Trump. Okay, uh, listen, I gotta make sure this is really you, not somebody abusing the Trump phone. Say something only Donald Trump would say. Well, I could say you're fired. I'm not sure you're the only one who would say that to me, but thank you very much. No, you're doing, okay. you're okay. doing so well. That could never happen, Stephen. You're doing a great job, so that could never Don't happen. Don't make me... <laughs> Don't make me love you, old man. <laughs> okay, let's get to the first question of any phone call. What are you wearing, Donald? Well, right now I'm wearing a very beautiful blue suit with a very poor tie, but the tie will get better as the day goes on. Uh, I'm wearing a unitard and a silver tiara just to talk to you right now. Oh, that's good. Okay. That's so how good. do you like South Carolina? It's the best people ever, it. right? Right, I love it. It's a great place, and I've been here many times, as you know, but I, it's a great place, and we're in the midst of a very, very strong uh, primary season. Mm -hmm. New Hampshire was terrific, and this Saturday they get out and vote. Mm -hmm. And hopefully they'll be voting for Trump and we're going to make America great again. This is definitely Donald Trump. All right. <laughs> Let's talk about what experts are calling your potty mouth. I can think off of the top of my head three things that you have said on air that this is true. CBS will not let me repeat or they would have to bleep them. How are you going okay. to stop? Well, it's easy. I've decided to stop. I mean, I do that for emphasis and I do that sometimes non-politically. And when I, once I decided to run for office, I sort of said, well, we're going to have to stop. But you, you know, didn't stop. You didn't stop People, running for office. You didn't well, stop. Are, no, but these are, these are very minor words. And in many cases, I actually bleep them out myself. I never said the word. And then they'll bleep it, and people will think I said the word, which is a little deceptive, but that's okay. I've got a suggestion. Why don't you have a swear jar? Every time you say a bad word, you put a billion dollars in it. Well, I think that's a good idea. Okay. I think that's okay. a great idea. I'm going to do that. I, I okay. like that. Let's talk about uh, if you were elected in the Supreme Court. If it was the last year of your presidency and you had a vacancy to fill in the Supreme Court, would you allow the Senate to tell you not to do it? Well, the Senate really has the right to do that. I would certainly, if I were president, regardless of who that may be, I guess I'd put in a name. But the Senate really does, especially for this fairly short period of time, they have a right not to do it, not to vote on it, not to so approve it. So you would let someone tell you what to do. do. This is they, sounding less like Donald Trump. Every... 
No, I'd push. I mean, look, if I were the president, I'd be pushing. And, Mm -hmm. uh, you know, whether I was Republican or Democrat, I'd be pushing. Mm -hmm. But the Senate does have a lot of power over that. They have the right to do it. They have a pretty pretty daunting right. So it should not happen. It should be whoever the next president is should be the one that picks the next Supreme Court justice. All right. Uh, You're down in South Carolina trying to court votes. You're not, you're not making any friends here, Donald, I hate to say. You're down in South Carolina. I'm from South Carolina. Uh, I want to help you out here. Let's hear you say, please vote for me, y'all. Well, I could say that. Please vote for me, y'all. Very convincing. Very convincing. Well, I, I know you're a busy man. I'll let you go get your pants on. Thank you so much for calling well, us. Thank you. Thank you very much, Steve. Great Donald honor Trump, everybody, on the Trump phone. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Now, now together, let's make this show great again.